beautiful and welcome back to my channel. Uh, today I have another wig review for you, um, but this one's not an unboxing because you already see it on my head. <laughs> um, with this particular one, I actually bought this on clearance and this is Alpha Blend by uh, Beltress. Uh, the color, this gorgeous color is called Stardust. Um, so the reason I went ahead and unboxed this one is I just wanted to check it out. It was on clearance, so I wanted to make sure that everything was fine with it. So I went ahead and took it out and I haven't really done anything with it other than to change the part. So this is what you will get coming straight out of the box. Um, as you can tell, Alpha Blend is a very long, um, I guess you could call it a bob, like a long bob lob, uh, but it is, it is very straight, somewhat blunt. I mean, there is tiny little layering in here, so it's not like just like completely straight across. It does have a little bit of a taper and an angle, uh, which I adore. This is my favorite hairstyle um, on me personally. Uh, and then this color is something I've never actually chosen for myself before, and I love it. So let's go ahead and start talking about the color a little bit more. Um, so Stardust is really cool. Stardust has a blend of eight different shades, and those shades are uh, different shades of lavender and lilac. And honestly, there is a little bit of blue and a little bit of pink in here too. I'll get really close to the camera so you guys can see that. It's just a ton of different colors all throughout here, um, which really make it quite stunning in person. I'll also have a color video specifically about this color where I will go outside and show you what it looks like in natural lighting as well. Um, so because it's Beltress, uh, like all the Beltress styles that I have personally tried there, it's heat friendly as well. So you can actually style this up to 320 degrees Fahrenheit um, with a straight iron, a curling iron, um, to be able to change up the style if you wish. Now I do recommend with all of the heat friendly wigs that you guys do use heat on them on a semi-regular basis if you're wearing it quite frequently. That just helps to keep it in a good shape, um, will help to keep any type of uh, fraying or friction stuff down from here um, if you just use a little bit of a straightening iron on that. And then a steamer as well if necessary. You can also use a steamer on a heat friendly wig, it works perfectly fine. I recommend if you're trying to get out any type of like little kinks or any type of like friction stuff, uh, just go ahead and use one of these guys, which is a rat tail comb and pull it nice and straight like that and then use a steamer on it and then move it down just a little bit and do it again, move it down a little bit and do it again. And that will really help to give you that nice uh, angle that you're looking for and keep it nice and sleek. All right, um, also there is a lace front. Let me go ahead and show that to you guys as well. It's not an ear to ear, it is just temple to temple, lace front right there. Um, here are the ear tabs. It's actually a little bit difficult to see the ear tabs with mine because these roots actually match my own bio hair extremely well. So this is a really great candidate if that happens for you. If you're like me and you're not a big fan of ear tabs, I'm likely gonna cut these guys off like I do with a lot of my wigs. And then this would all just be my own natural hair through here so that I could very easily just pop my hair behind my ear and no one would ever be the wiser. All right, the measurements on Alpha Blend are going to be uh, few and far between. They actually really only give me a side measurement and a back measurement of 13. And then overall it just says five to 13 inches. So the nape is five, I'm sorry. They do give me the nape measurement as well. So the nape is five, sides, 13 and then overall the weight is 5.4 this is quite a lot of hair honestly this is not a low density wig by any means um but because it's so straight and because it kind of does its own thing as far as the style is concerned um it doesn't really bother me typically i like lighter density wigs but i think this one does a really good job I actually didn't even do a 360 for you guys. I got really excited, um, but let me go ahead and do that now so you guys can see what Alpha Blend looks like in all sets. I really 
really, really love this wig. Um, let me go ahead and take it off so you guys can see what she looks like on the inside as well. All right, on the inside, Alpha Blend is an open cap construction. It does still have the felt covered ear tabs as well as the felt covered nape, but the nape is not extended. On the inside, you're going to see a little bit of a monofilament. It is a left side part monofilament. And of course your lace front that we already talked about. I would say that the fit of Alpha Blend is an average um, fit. I didn't change anything and it fits really, really great. I have a petite to average sized head. Um, so honestly, you could probably even wear this if you have a larger head as well. So no problems there. Beltress is all pretty, um, pretty standard with all of their wigs. They all fit really, really well. I really, really enjoy Beltress. All right, guys, so if you want to pick up Alpha Blend in any of the absolutely stunning colors it comes in, I'm not joking. We're talking everything from purple to gray to blonde to brown, whatever your heart desires. Uh, you can always pick this up at wigstudio1.com. Make sure that you're looking at the checkout to see if there is a flash sale. If there is, it'll save you some money um, and maybe you can pick up another one. <laughs> And while you're online, make sure you're heading on over to Facebook. There we have our Facebook support group. It's called Wig Studio One Wig and Topper Support Group. Uh, you'll find myself along with the other ladies from Wig Studio One and just thousands of other people that are there to help support you in your hair loss journey. All right, if you have any questions, please make sure you leave them in the comments below and I'll get to them just as soon as I possibly can, as well as make sure you hit that subscribe button if you have not done so already. I make tons of content like this and I also do a lot of guides and help and tip videos as well. All right, until next time, bye-bye beautiful.